Temple, if y'all wanted to come on down, we're sitting here, we're last known location. We went all the way down to the Floyd County line, checking brush piles, what we could. Uh, then we have guys, volunteers on kayaks just going in and doing a more in-depth search on the bigger brush piles. Well, we're using uh, boat teams with drags. We've got Kentucky Search Dog Association here with cadaver dogs. Um, Pikeville Fire Department, Prestonsburg Fire Department, Miller D. Shelbyana Fire Department. We've got a couple of boats down there, uh, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. Also got uh, KSP's helicopter in the air, also searching. Uh, numerous volunteers searching, and also got Kentucky National Guard's helicopter is on its way to help search with a FLIR. They have a FLIR system that can help us locate any possibles. Yeah. yeah, sometimes you don't know the point last night or the last known point. And in this case, we have a good idea of where that is and we're starting there and working our way down. The kayak was a little further down from where his shoes were. So uh, the dogs independently working separately, both indicated in the same area. And we've taken them back down today since last night to see if they're still hitting in the same area and they are. So we're concentrating our efforts in that particular area. Yes, the, the river conditions are optimum for boat operations right now. Uh, it allows us to get over the shoals if we need to and work in shallow areas that we normally would not be able to get into. Uh, minute by minute and you know hour by hour, uh, we're, still, we're still actively searching. We're hoping for the best, planning for the worst. And I've been doing this a long time, and as long as it keeps going on and no, nobody hears from him, nobody knows anything, it's usually not a very good outcome. We're going to try to bring him home. Well, the family deserves that.